plants around us second standard unit 3 term 1 evs here uh, we are going to start with parts of a plant a group of students went on a field visit to a garden Nina looked at a sapling closely and asked the teacher one part of this plant is green while the other part is brown in color why it is so teacher the teacher explained our body has different parts such as hands legs and head in the same way plants also have different parts they are of different colors let us learn about them so look at the plant what do you see can you guess what the different parts of the plant do so this is uh, ex an exercise so you can just uh, take a plant and show it to your child and uh, discuss it with uh, the child the different parts okay so every plant has a root and a shoot system so what is a root system so the part of the plant that grows under the ground is called the root system and shoot system is the part of the plant that grows above the ground okay so the shoot system has stem leaf flower and fruit so this also you can take a plant and show your child the root system uh, that means the roots which always grows under the ground and the a shoot system the stem and the leaves and the flower which goes above the ground so here we have uh, a plant and they have shown us the root system at the shoot system and then in the shoot system we have the leaf which go uh, which grows from the stem and most of the leaves are green in color and they make food for the plant then we have flower which is an attractive and colorful and it grows from the bud and it has a specific smell and it attracts birds and insect then we have fruit it develops from the flower some have seeds and most plants grow from the seed and then we have the stem it's the main part of the shoot system which gives support to the plant and then we have the root which fixes the plant into the soil here we need to label the part of the plant so we have leaves or leaf flower fruit stem and root now in this picture we have uh, different kinds of plants okay and uh, uh, here if we can see we have a mango tree then we have some kind of climber and then we have a pumpkin patch which is a creeper then we have hibiscus which is a shrub so this is what we need to teach our kids now plants are of different kinds okay and they are uh, grouped based on the size and nature of the stem so here the important uh, part of the plant is stem and based on the stem we are dividing the plant into herbs shrubs climbers creepers and trees now let's take a look at herbs now herbs are small plants with thin and soft stem and most of them live only for few months now examples are mint coriander and grass then we have shrubs shrubs are smaller than trees they have many uh, they have many stems that grow close to the ground and the stems are thin but hard and they live for several years like shoe flower then oleander and jasmine then we have climbers now climbers have weak stem and that's why they need support to climb and grow 
and some of them live only for few months like broad beans snake god ridge god then we talk about creepers creepers are plants that have weak stems they grow along the ground and bear large and heavy fruits and many of them live for a few months only like pumpkin watermelon and musk melon the last one are trees big and tall plants are called trees they have hard and thick woody stem and they are called trunks trees have many branches they live for many years example banyan tree coconut tree and mango tree now here we need to observe the picture and complete the table so they have given us a plant and we need to write the color of the stem and texture of the stem now we have mint and the stem color is brown and it is soft then rose it is green and hard then we have neem which is brown and hard beetroot red and soft and then we have kirai which is red and soft now what are the benefits of plants we get vegetables fruits cereals pulses spices oil and medicines from trees shrubs herbs climbers and creepers now vegetables like lady's finger devil's fig and bottle gourd then we have fruits like pomegranates grapes and jackfruit we have cereal and pulses like rice wheat and bread crumbs splits then we have spices like bay leaves cardamom and pepper oil like coconut oil castor oil and groundnut oil then we have medicines like stone from stone breaker climbing brinjal and eucalyptus so these all we get from the plants and as we know coconut oil is used both for cooking as well as hair oil now here we need to find the odd one and put a tick mark so we have two fruits and the middle one is the odd one which is eucalyptus then we have uh, two types of oil so the first one is the odd one then we have wheat and rice the so spice pepper is the odd one then have one fruit jack fruit and the two other are vegetables so jack fruit is the odd one now what are the other benefits of plants so we use different parts of the plants in many other ways so let's talk about it now as fiber the thread like structure taken from a plant is called a fiber and these fibers are used for making ropes and cloth and we use the ropes and cloths in many ways so as plates for eating from plantain uh, like a plantain leaf or areca plate then we have as timber teak wood neem wood door made out of the wood and the thick trunks of some trees are used for making doors windows tables chairs and other things then we have as cosmetic we use henna we use shika kai and aloe vera as household things palm leaves are used to make boxes baskets and hand fans bamboo is used to make paper chairs and winnows and winnow is uh, like you know you use a uh, bamboo uh, bamboo from bamboo we make uh, chairs and we make boxes and baskets and things like that it is called winnows and these we have as ornamental plants rose croton and cactus we need to match the plant with their products so palm tree we make uh, different ornaments and different crafts and uh, we have uh, from the palm tree we make uh, jaggery also and then we have uh, second one is the coconut tree we make the coconut oil or coconut milk then we have cotton the fiber are used to make cloth 
last is banana we get fruits then a uh, tree has a habitat what do you mean by tree as a habitat in the tree around the tree under the tree uh, living beings are uh, uh, living beings make their home okay so observe all the living beings in and around the tree and talk about them so a tree is a home for many small animals like birds insects squirrels and monkeys and also you know it gives a shade so when we are hot we just rest under it and then it uh, gives us clean air so we need to plant more trees and never cut them tick the animals that you see on the given tree so here we have just tick the animals who live on the tree like monkey squirrel then we have crow we have woodpecker match the picture with the words so first herb is the mint leaf then we have climber snake god or bitter god then creeper is the watermelon then we have coconut tree and shrub as hibiscus tree match the following pumpkin is a creeper pepper spice neem tree timber grapes climber cotton fiber fill in the blanks the part of the plant that grows above the soil is called shoot system the leaves are the green parts of a plant plates can be made from areca flowers grow from buds choose the correct answer and circle it a plant which gives fiber is banana example of a creeper is watermelon this is a spice bay leaf we know is uh, from the bamboo plant